You may have gone for a routine eye check to get your glasses updated or just because you haven't been to the optometrist for a while and suddenly your optometrist has perhaps noted uh, that there is a change at the back of your eyes or may, maybe that wasn't noted before or apparent before. They may have said that you've got a condition called disc drusen. What does that mean? It's not something most of us have ever heard of before, but it's something I actually encounter very frequently in my clinical practice. Essentially, disc drusen is a fancy term for deposits that can form in your optic nerve. So your eye is a camera for your brain. The optic nerve is essentially the cable that takes information from the eye to the brain. The concern is that there are conditions that can occur inside your head where the pressure goes up around the nerve and that can cause the nerve appearance to become swollen. It can be, for those of us who aren't specialists, neuro-ophthalmologists, challenging to decide which patients have this swelling of the nerve called papilledema, which is potentially a progressive condition that can damage the nerve, and who has other less worrisome conditions such as disc drusen. And it's very reasonable to ask for a second opinion from somebody who deals with this very frequently. So this is something that I'm often asked to do. Disc drusen are very common. There's a lot we don't know about them still. They can occur in children. There are different theories as to why they occur, but we can't stop them happening. If you're one of the 1 or 2% of the population who can develop disc drusen, unfortunately we don't know ways of stopping that from happening. Many people, in fact most people with disc drusen, don't know that they have them. Some people can have them that run in the family, so perhaps your mother or father has disc drusen and you want to know if that's what you have. But usually it's people who've gone for a routine eye check and there's been a concern as to whether the nerves are sight swollen. And yes, it may look like disc drusen, but we need to be sure. So where do we go once you come to see me? The first thing we'll do is take a history and discuss your symptoms. Most people don't have symptoms. Things that can cause people to be a little concerned, particularly other people who you may have met initially, is whether you have headaches, because some of the conditions, papilledema, for instance, can be associated with having headaches. Having said that, headaches are extremely common in the population and in my experience having a headache in most people still doesn't signify that you have anything sinister going on. But you will want for your own peace of mind and actually just to be sensible to have that double checked. After this, there'll be a detailed examination of your eyes and that will involve checking your vision, checking the health of the eye. We will instill some drops to dilate the pupil and then we'll take some photographs. So they may be colour photographs like you, you've had already potentially at the optometrists. There are also more specialised tests that we can do. Sometimes we might take a little ultrasound scan of the eye which people often wonder how that happens but essentially it involves putting a little bit of jelly on the eyelid and using a little probe to have a look at the back of the eye and if you have these disc drusen they look slightly brighter. There are more more, uh, there are newer developments that we can also do, special photographs. You may have heard of it, something called an OCT. And essentially this is a, a specialised test that lets, um, lets us record how thick the nerve is and particularly how thick the nerve fibres are. And that can be really useful in deciding, working out if somebody has any worrisome cause for their disc swelling, if they have disc drusen, or perhaps they, don't, they may just have an elevated optic nerve and it could just be completely normal for them. Many people find it very useful to speak to me about whether or not they have disc drusen. Yes, it's very, very reassuring and great news to be told that you don't have papilledema. But if your optometrist perhaps has told you quite correctly that you have disc drusen and you've then gone away and researched it, there's a lot of information out there. And it's difficult to know where you come in the scheme of things. Many people have disc drusen and don't know anything about it. It does not affect their daily lives. Some people can have very severe disc drusen. And those, there are some unlucky people where the disc drusen can have an effect on vision, but usually that occurs in, much, in later life. Using the tests and using um, things like visual field tests, which we can repeat in the clinic, we'll be able to discuss whether 
if you have dystrus and it's having any impact on your vision. There are also, um, there's also a lot of research going on into the condition and people often want to know where that's heading and that's a, a really good opportunity for us to talk about it. So for many people it's an opportunity just to put their minds at rest and essentially they can largely forget that they've got dystrus and until they have to go to the optometrist again in a year's time, in which case it's very useful to tell them that you've seen somebody who has confirmed you have disc and to stop a lot of unnecessary anxiety. So if you're someone who's been told they possibly have disc drusen, or if there's concern that you may have a swollen nerve, or you'd like a second opinion on that, I'd be very happy to see you at Clinical London.